Rosalind Goforth was a well-known missionary to China who, along with her husband Jonathan, enjoyed a very fruitful career as missionaries. But for many years, having labored for the Lord in China, Rosalind often felt oppressed by a burden of sin. She felt guilty and dirty, nursing an inward sense of spiritual failure. Finally, one evening, when all was quiet, she settled at her desk with Bible and concordance, determined to find out God's attitude towards the sin of saints. She put these words at the top of her page, what God does with our sins. Then, as she searched through the scriptures, she compiled this list of some 17 truths. And friends, here's what God does with our sin. Number one, he lays them on Jesus Christ. Isaiah 53 and verse 6. Christ takes them away. John chapter 1 and verse 29. They are removed a great distance as far as is the east is from the west, Psalm 123 and verse 12. When sought for, they are not found, Jeremiah 50 and verse 20. The Lord forgives them all, Ephesians 1 and verse 7. He cleanses them all away by the blood of his son, 1 John chapter 1 and verse 7. He cleanses them as white as snow and as wool. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 18, Psalm 51 and verse 7. He abundantly pardons them all, Isaiah 55 and verse 7. He tramples them underfoot, Micah chapter 7 and verse 19. He remembers them no more, Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 17. He casts them behind his back, Isaiah 38 and verse 17. And he casts them into the depths of the sea, Micah chapter 7 and verse 19. And he will not impute sin to us, Romans chapter 4 and verse 8. And he covers them, Romans 4 and verse 7. He blots them out, Isaiah 43 and verse 25. He blots them out as thick as a cloud, Isaiah 44 and verse 22. And he blots out even the proof against it, nailing it to his son's cross, Colossians chapter 2 and verse 14. And friends, that's exactly what Jesus Christ does with our sins when we place our faith and our trust in him. You know what we call that? We call that God's wonderful and amazing grace. And friends, that's what God does with our sin. And may we rejoice in the work of Jesus Christ on the cross on our behalf. And my prayer is that the Spirit of God would take the Word of God and bless you today.